Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And as every morning, I like to say thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Thank you for reading through the Bible with us this year. I again want to go back to the book of Romans. I know I've been neglecting Psalms and Proverbs and the Old Testament passages, but Romans is just over the moon, all right? I want to show you today Paul's attitude toward the people that he ministered to. Sometimes today you look around the world and you see that preachers have a condescending attitude or a patronizing attitude or an angry attitude or whatever kind of an attitude toward the people that they serve. But I want you to notice how Paul felt toward the people that he ministered to. He says in verse 14, I myself am convinced, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, complete in knowledge, and competent to instruct one another. Wow, I like that. Paul said, listen, I'm not writing to a bunch of neophytes. Paul said, I salute you. I compliment you. He said, you're good people. You're complete in knowledge. You know the word. And he said, you know what? You're competent to instruct one another. He said, but now I also want you to understand my relationship to you. He said, I've written boldly to you on some points as if to remind you of them again because of the grace God has given me to be a minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles with the priestly duty of proclaiming the gospel of God so that the Gentiles might become an offering acceptable to God, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Now that's a big mouthful for Paul to say, you know what, I in no way patronize you. I in no way belittle you. I in no way speak in a condescending tone toward you. He said, you know, I've written some things to you quite strongly to remind you, not because you're not competent to teach each other, because you are. Not because you don't have knowledge, because you're complete in knowledge. And not because you're not good people, because you are good people. He said, you know, I've reminded you of these things, and I've spoken boldly to you these, about these things, because that is who I am. God has called me by his grace to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Now if you think all through the book of Romans, Paul has just pounded the doctrines of salvation by faith, not by works. Paul has pounded the doctrines of justification by faith. Paul said, listen, I've written to you very boldly about these things, not because of your ignorance, not because you're not good people, not because you're not competent to teach, but because of who I am. Now, brothers and sisters, sometimes you need to realize with us as pastors, we remind you of things not because of your ignorance. We remind you of things because that's our ministry. We stand up and we speak very strongly about some things because that's the calling of God upon our lives. So sometimes when you listen to the pastor preach, maybe you're one of our members and you're scattered all over the world. We, we have thousands of people listening to us in the Middle East. It's absolutely amazing. But wherever you are scattered around the world and you're listening to us, as your pastor stands up to preach today and you already know what he's teaching, <laughs> don't think that he's putting you down or belittling you. He's just being who he is. He respects who you are. Now just respect who he is. This is the calling that is upon his life. And if he stands up and teaches some things like Brother John would stand up and teach us about finances and tithing and giving and things, well, you know what, please forgive me, we know those truths very well. But isn't it wonderful that the apostle of finances comes and stands up and reminds us of those truths very boldly. So what should the attitude of, of a pastor be toward the people that he serves? They're good people. They're complete in knowledge. They're competent to instruct one another. But that doesn't mean that I stop being who I am. I'll remind them and I'll remind them boldly because that's who God has called me to be.